Bienvenidas y bienvenidos a este espacio de actividades de educación física vinculadas a las áreas curriculares de Matemática y Ciencias Naturales en el marco de la estrategia Atención de los Educandos de Educación Básica en sus Hogares con el apoyo de padres, madres, tutores y encargados. Hello everyone, I hope you guys are staying at home and being safe, helping prevent the coronavirus from spreading. Remember, to keep your antibacterial gel, make sure you wash your hands very good with soap and water, and most of all, stay at home. Welcome once again to the space of physical education activities linked to the curricular areas of mathematics and science. Within the framework of the strategies, we want you studying at home. And this is for the basic education students who are at home working and with the support and help of their tutors, parents, mothers, or those who are in charge of you. This activity was presented by Liz B. Vargas, who works in the Secretary of Education in the General Subdectorate of Physical Education and Sports. And my name is Deborah Teresa Sarah Thompson, and I work in the Proveco AUP, Global Window the School in the community of Wyoming here on the beautiful island of Global San Honduras. I hope you guys are excellent and that you guys are studying at home. that relates the work done with the time spent doing it. It is the amount of work done in a unit of time, which the formula is P equals W plus time. And P means power, W means work, and T means time. Potency, power, or strength as physical capacity is the action of overcoming resistance in the highest possible speed. Now, with the support of a family member, we're going to do some activities, but you already have to have your, your area um, line framework out. So you have to make a starting point or a starting line with three meters of measurement, and then we will call um, LeBron and Caleb to help us work out this activity. So, Caleb will grab him his feet, trying not to make him move, and that is calling, I mean, holding the resistance. So while he is being resistant, Zachary is going to try to crawl to the finish line. See, he's laying flat on his tummy. And Caleb is holding him back, holding him back so that he can resist, resisting him that he is not able to advance. Very good. The second activity is he's going to hold him back and he's going to try See, he is also making resistance so that he's not able to make the decision. And Zachary is making strength to make it to the finish line. So that's what we're talking about, potency, strength, power. For the next activity, we are going to do, we're going, both of them are going to meet in front of each other, like they're wrestling, hand wrestling, pushing towards each other to try to get to the finish line. Somebody have to make it to the finish line. These are squatters, okay? and they will push their opponent down without permanently grabbing him. Very good. Lastly, 
that are going to turn back on each of them. So now they're going to try to stand up, do some squats, standing up and going back down, holding on to each other. Very good. Very good. And all of this is potency, power, and strength. And that is the resistance that he's doing right there. Very good. Well, you guys can continue later at home doing this activity, applying them, applying what you guys have learned. Thank you, Caleb, and thank you, LeBron, for helping us today. And you can also do different type of activities that is related to these, to, to potency, to strength, or to power. Very good. Now, remember, you have to continue staying at home. Make sure you're using your antibacterial gel. Make sure you wash your hands. If you don't have an antibacterial gel, you can wash your hands with soap and water. Make sure that you're staying at home. And if you do go out, you're taking your mask and make sure you're wearing it. And keep your distance and no hugging, no touching, just high and by. So I hope you guys, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Esta ha sido una producción de la Secretaría de Educación de Honduras a través de la Subdirección de Educación Física y Deportes en coordinación con la Subdirección General de Educación Básica y la Dirección General de Desarrollo Profesional.